There was recently a video of a Russian tank which appears to be very, very weird. At the first glance, this looks very unorthodox for a Russian tank. It appears as if the tank has a bustle autoloader and some extra protection on the front, on top of having a cope cage. A lot of people were drawing connections to the Burlak, which was a Russian universal prototype turret intended for all Russian tanks. And, I mean, at the first glance, there might be some similarities. But that is actually not the case, not even close. This tank is a regular T-72B with a lot of cages mounted on it. What at first might seem like a bustle autoloader is actually a cage, probably meant to protect the engine deck. And we know it's not a solid structure, because as the tank is turning the turret, you can see everything under the camonet, ground, the tank itself, and so on. This wouldn't be possible on an actual bustle autoloader, steel is not transparent. Now, what about the thing mounted on the front of the turret? Well, I believe this was mounted in an effort to increase frontal protection on the tank, because the protection of T-72B is not really up to modern standards. Plus, it is possible that it is meant to cover the turret ring from the front as well. One big downside is that it limits driver's ability to get in and out of the tank. Unless this thing can be easily lifted, it could cause a big problem for the driver. That is because on T-72, the turret needs to be put in a certain position in order for the driver to get out. Otherwise, the gun and the turret cheeks could cause problems. And this frontal cage is mounted in a way that it would pretty much completely block off the ability for the driver to get out through the hatch. The driver does have a bottom hatch he can get out of though, but this is still a problem. Lastly, the tank appears to have the famous scope cage, but with ERA placed on top. In my opinion, this is much better than a standard cage. That is because ERA will always affect whatever hit it. If it's a tandem-shaped hit, like Javelin, the first charge would be triggered, and the second charge would detonate on the cage drastically increasing the possibilities that it would be stopped, if it hits the ERA on the turret roof, of course. Of course, I'm not trying to say something like, new generation cope cage stops javelins, guaranteed. No, I'm just saying that this has much better chances at doing so than the most common cope cage we have been seeing in this war. That would be all for now, if you like my content you can support me on Patreon. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Have a nice day.